a day in God's grace. Let us walk together in the bounty of all that God has given us, especially as God has, God has given us His Word. God has given us one another. And God has called us to a fellowship around His Word to inspire and encourage and to celebrate the wisdom that we can give evidence of in all we say and do. Let us pray. Lord, by these means we come into fellowship. Lord, by this medium we open your word. And Lord, we ask for your spirit to be upon our reflection and the thoughts that come to mind and the things that inspire and the words that you will say through us in this time and in times that this moment will inspire. And Lord, we thank you for those who are inspiring, who in their lives give of their experience and their, their witness, Lord, in their journey of faith and their struggles and their triumphs, Lord, who give unto you glory and praise. And Lord, offer up unto us the witness of faith that encourages us, especially as we are, are challenged in our own humanity to see that, that, Lord, others struggle and strive. Lord, they are confronted as we are with what your word is saying to us and who it's calling us to be more than we are, but not less than we can be. And so, Lord, we ask for your encouragement as we come together that your Holy Spirit will guide not only my words right now, but everything we will do from this moment, that we will be a blessing unto you and our lives will be praise unto you. This in Christ we pray. Amen. Crows are a bit noisy today. We look to Joel chapter 2, reading at verse 13. And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. When you're in a spot of grief, a time of trouble. You just want to tear the world away. Tear yourself from the world. But open up your heart. That's what is being asked by the prophet in this passage. Is Look, when it seems like all the world is about to oppress you, maybe it's the hardness of your own heart. Remember Pharaoh when presented with all the plagues of the world his heart remained hardened and he couldn't accept the salvation of God and it cost him even to his own son and so the calling on all of us is to rend our hearts to open up and to be a sign of grace as we receive grace to accept God's mercy for God is gracious and merciful and slow to anger and of great kindness it's to God we bring our understanding of right and wrong and check it. It is, it is not simply to one another. It's not just to people of great learning. The, the most wisdom that any of these can offer you is, well, whatever they have to say and above all, turn to God. And listen to what God is telling you. And that takes a great deal of humility in all our parts. And that takes a, a trust that we build up over time. And in that, not only are we re removed and pulled back away from, from evil, but we are called into a, a new day, a new light, an opportunity to inspire and encourage others to be that place of wisdom in people's lives as they need it so much. And that will be accomplished if we, if we pull ourselves down and we put ourselves down and, and, and ruin ourselves. So open your heart to God before you tear the garments, before you tear things apart. Open yourself unto the Lord. God bless and keep you.